Can you get good quality sound on a budget? Let's find out. The Maano mic comes in right at $35. Right now it's actually on sale on Amazon with a coupon code, but it offers a slew of features. Let's find out what comes in the box and then we'll go over those features. All right guys, so this is gonna be the unboxing portion. No box, but I'll explain why in a little bit. But this is what comes in the box exactly. You get your instruction manual, which is uh, good to read. It'll tell you what the colors are, indicating for the mic different colors and stuff for the front if you're on uh, noise cancellation or mute and all that. Then you get your cable. This cable is good because it comes with a three point or comes with a USB C that goes in the back, and then you have USB Type A or Type C for your PC. It comes with both of them, so kind of makes it a little bit more diverse to tile, however you want to say that, for your PC use. And then of course you have the mic itself, the Maono, Maono, however the heck you want to say it. But this is the mic. This is all plastic. The shields on it are metal around it comes with a pop filter that can be taken off if you want to or left on we're going to leave it on because it's going to be important it comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack on the front of it and then it comes with a gain control knob at the bottom of it does come with this little piece too now this piece is to take this off the stand it would unscrew from here and you would just completely unscrew it like this take this out put this over the top, put the screw back in, and you can mount this to a boom arm to get this closer to your mic, your mouth, excuse me, which I would uh, definitely recommend since this is a condenser mic. Let's go to another angle and talk about the mic itself and about everything it comes with or everything that's on it itself. Let's go. Just let you guys know, Mono did send this mic out to me for review, but they're not seeing it before you guys. They didn't pay me to make this video, and if I see any shortcomings in the product itself, I'll let you guys know and Mono know so they can make better products for you and me over time. And also, everything that's gonna be mentioned in this video will be linked below in the description. Let's get started. So just to let you guys know, this mic is compatible on things like Mac, Android, iPhone, uh, PC, and things like that. This mic comes in three different colors as of right now, black, white, and pink. Let's go over five of the features that are on this mic that stand out the most. The first one is, well, it's a condenser mic. This isn't a dynamic mic, as some people would say, which that, that, that is the right saying. I'm not sure why I did that, but this is a condenser mic. What this means is, well, it's gonna pick up quite literally everything around you, background noise, and you hitting keys on your keyboard, and you click in your mouse, or if you got a tactile button controller, it's gonna pick up all that. If you got fans on your PC that are really loud or something like that, or you have a PlayStation 4 that sounds like a V8 motor starting up, it's gonna pick all that up because of the nature of the mic. This is how these mics are built to be able to pick up from a further distance. And this is why this was also considered a desk stand. It comes with a desk stand anyways, because so it's a condenser mic, it's supposed to be able to do that. But one of the other features on here, which is going to lead me to number two, is this does have noise cancellation on it. Now, how does it sound? Is it worth using? Sometimes these noise cancellations can be more of a problem than a solution, depending on how much it compresses the sound and make you sound. But we'll find out all that when we do the mic test a little bit later. Another feature on this, which is number three, is gonna be RGB. Yes, this does have RGB lights on it. I mean, you can see it right here in the background, but it comes with like six different features. It has like five solid colors and it has this multicolor RGB light thing going on, which personally I like the most. I think it looks very pleasant to the eye to look at. So number four for feature wise talking about today is gonna have a 3.5 millimeter jack on the front of it for your headphones. Um, this is a zero latency headphone jack, which means you're going to get the immediate, when you talk into the mic, immediately going to hear it in your ear. This is good because some people will try to hook their headset up to their PC and there's always like a hundredth of a second or something a latency delay there. And it just is really, really hard to play a game, talk and hear that coming back through. I can't do it. I've tried. I actually hate it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, just know it's zero latency and it does work. I've already tested it. And the number five, it's gonna be the adjustable gain knob at the bottom of the mic. That's right, you do have an adjustable gain knob. You do not have a mic monitoring one, but you do have a adjustable one, which mic monitoring is gonna work the same with the gain knob. I don't know what I'm talking about, but just know, yes, yeah, it goes up and down. It does stop. It doesn't just keep freely spinning. So that's a very good feature on this mic as well. 
So the polar pattern on this mic of the cauteroid is not omnidirectional. And just so you guys know that are maybe new to this, a polar uh, omnidirectional means it picks up volume all the way around the mic. And the polar pattern being cauteroid means it picks it up straight from the front. This is a good thing. That means it's gonna hopefully neglect more background noise coming from maybe behind you. So if you have the at your PlayStation 4 at the back of the mic, it's not gonna pick up that V8 motor as good as it would being behind you and the mic being right there in front of it and stuff. So, so when it comes to condenser mics, best practice for these style mics, I know it comes with a desk stand and stuff, but it's going to be putting it on a boom arm. The reason why I said that, say that is because when you put it on a boom arm, you can bring it closer to you and actually bring the gain down on the mic a little bit, which is gonna help neglect more background noise coming in. So with the mic being on the stand and on the desk, you're gonna probably be close to a foot away, but you can cut that in half, which means you can cut the mic down a little bit and not get as much background noise. As you see here, I have it on this boom arm, but I'm gonna post some budget-friendly boom arms below. I mean, under $20 boom arms. If you want something like this, I'll post it too. I'll also post a video where I did a review on it. So I brought in somebody to help me test this mic. They're gonna compare it to their $40 mic. It's from a uh, $40 mic they started out with from Walmart doing a podcast. So you're gonna hear him now. He is from Extraordinary Dad, Daniel Wilbanks. Um, I will link all his stuff down below for you to find him if you're interested in his podcast or his YouTube channel and stuff like that. This is a mic check of the Mayano Gamer Wave. It's hooked directly into my iPhone 14 Pro using an adapter in an untreated garage with a background fan going. This is the same test of the Mayano Gamer Wave with the noise canceling on. <laughs> this is a mic test of the $40 microphone that I started my podcast with. This is a mic test of the $40 microphone that I started my podcast with plugged directly into my iPhone 14 Pro with no post in an untreated garage with the fan going. Now we're doing a test of the Milano mic on a boom arm about six inches from the mouth. This is with noise cancellation on in more of a quieter environment. Now I'm gonna show you what it sounds like without the noise cancellation on. And three, two, one. And this is what it sounds like without noise cancellation on. I am doing nothing in post-production. This is what it's gonna sound like. If I have to bring the gain up a little bit, I will. By the way, this mic is about halfway turned down on the gain on the mic itself to try to neglect more background noise, even though this is a quieter environment. Just to give y'all an idea of what it would sound like if you had it on a boom arm closer to you instead of what Daniel was doing in the last scenes when he had it on his desk. And what do you guys think? Do you think that this mic is worth the $35 that Milano is asking for? If not, and or if so, let me know with your favorite emote down below, throwing up emotes, flexing emotes, fire emotes, whatever you wanna do. And if you wanna see a review of the toner boom arm I was talking about in this video, it's on sale right now for $50 with some RGB lights to make this mic pop even more. Check out the video over here. And I'm gonna post a video over here too, just because I can, whatever YouTube recommend you watch next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.